Sorry about that, my um, just decided to stop recording. <clears throat> so, so if if a if a false convert is giving a message <clears throat> that sounds like it's from uh, the Bible, but they're adding to the works of the Lord Jesus Christ then it's a it's a false message it's it's coming from a um a corrupt tree because co a corrupt tree cannot bring forth good fruit this is what jesus is saying every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them so it's obviously not talking about the works of a person because um jehovah's witnesses for example do good works they look externally good you know they may sound like the christians but they deny the deity of the lord jesus muslims deny the deity of the lord jesus it warns us you know we've, we've got to test the spirits that's you know as what they're saying about is jesus, did jesus come in the flesh <clears throat> thanks love and um so, so those are the verses, and then if we go to um, John six, um, sorry, <coughs> sorry, um, in Luke six verse forty five, it says, "A good man out of the treasure, sorry, a good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good." And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh. So it's a message that he's saying. And then in um, in Matthew 12 verse 34, is Jesus is saying, O generation of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. So you can cross-reference these with Matthew 7 verses <clears throat> 15 to 20 it's not speaking about external works it's a, it's 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 the message that they're saying because um, there's only one message one gospel message one one uh, message of good news and it's that the lord jesus christ died for our sins and he was buried and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures and this is all with all that we we you know, we must tell others it's the good news, it's the power of God unto salvation to the one who believes it. It says in, in um Romans one verse sixteen. So then on to these onto these controver controversial verses, sorry, um these Lord Lord passage, you know, they say, Oh Lord Lord, that you know, you're going to be depart from me, I never knew you. But, you know, if you, you read it in the context, it's speaking about um, those those are, are people like professing that they're doing good works before the Lord. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. So what is the will of the Father which is in heaven? If we go to John 6, verse 27, the disciples are asking, <clears throat> are asking, um, then said they unto him, to Jesus, What shall we do that we might work the works of God? And Jesus said, answered and said unto them, This is the work of God, that ye believe on him whom he hath sent. So we go back to John uh, John 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And so God sent his Son to, to die in our place, to die for us, to save us. From the penalty of sin, which is death, eternal death, eternal separation from God in hell, and then the lake of fire. <coughs> so, so, so the work, the work of God is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, that's the, that's the simplicity that is in Christ. And then, if we go to John six verse thirty nine, and this is the Father's will which hath sent me. That of all which he hath given me, this is Jesus speaking, I should lose nothing but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that, that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. 
<clears throat> so it's telling us that it's the will of him is to believe on the son. It's as simple as that. So anyone who's given a message, anything other than this, you've fulfilled the will of God is to believe on the son, to believe on the work of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's as simple as that. Any other message you're hearing is a false message. It's a, it's it's leading to false converts because they have no assurance of salvation because they, they can look into themselves for evidence of the works. <clears throat> I'm just going to look up this word, seeth, S-double-E-T-H, in John 6, 40. John 6, 40. <clears throat> so the word seeth is a Greek 2334 <clears throat> and it's serial and it's defined as to be a spectator, to look at, behold, to view attentively, take a view of, to view mentally and consider. So which seeth the sun in the in the context, because obviously we can't see him like the disciples did, you know. We have to receive him through faith. But it's to view mentally and consider. So, you know, <clears throat> so we, we believe the word of God um, through faith. And that this is this is seeing the sun and believeth on him and we have everlasting life. And he promises he'll raise, <clears throat> raise him up at the last day. So, um so back to Matthew 7. So, uh, and then Jesus is saying, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. So what were they saying before the Lord Jesus? They were saying, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Have we not cast out devils? Have we not done many wonderful works in your name? People can do things in the name of the Lord Jesus, but have they believed on him for everlasting life? Have they believed on the work that he's done for them? Because if not, they are still in their iniquity. And this is why Jesus says, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. So these verses that are the ones that they try to put people into bondage about, but it's speaking about them. Because they're still in the filthy rag works. <clears throat> Jesus is still seeing. He's, he's, he hasn't. They've not got his righteousness. They've not trusted in him. They were trusting in themselves. This is a works for salvation. They, they um, you know, lordship salvation, Calvinism, persevering, you know, adding to the to the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ saves no one. We've got to just trust in the in the work of the Lord Jesus what he's done for us and then build upon that here's the foundation that we um you know we we have assurance of, of eternal life because of him because he tells us we can build upon that you know we can know where we're going when we when we die <clears throat> there's, there's great hope in that because it's it's a very um, corrupt world we're living in full of lies full of lies in the media full of lies in the churches so it's the message that a person's saying on how to get eternal life these verses are talking about, warning about false prophets which which have um, a message that is a corrupt tree which cannot bring forth the gift of everlasting life because they're not saved, they're a false converts and if they're not heeding to the, to the truth of the message then you know they may die in their sin and you know it's um, it's just a satanic message. So they need to they need to see the sin. They need to see that they're a sinner. You, you know that that we we still sin when we're saved. Um, but it's all about having a having a um, a workable <clears throat> a workable. You know, wanting to work with God, wanting to wanting to submit to God, you know, to be changed, to allow the Holy Spirit to change us, so that we can bring bring forth you know the fruits of the spirit as it says in in galatians 5 21 you know the fruits of the spirit i love joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness 
of faith, meekness, and um, temperance, which is self-control. So <coughs> these, you know, when we're manifesting these, then um, the, these are this is the character of God. You know, so you know this is this is what this is evidence of um, <coughs> we're walking in the spirit and not the flesh. So um, I'm just going to do another, so this was Matthew 7, so I just wanted to do that. And because I'm having problems with my um, with my camera, I don't know if this is going to stop. So I was going to do, do an, carry on into, <coughs> into the faith without works is dead, the um, James 2. But I'm going to stop here and I'm going to make three or four videos uh, for this. So... Um, so if you've put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, just just ex express your gratitude that you're already saved. You're no, you're no longer in your sin. You have the very righteousness of God. Um, he paid for all of our sins. We're still going to sin till the day we die. You know, not just our external, but our internal, you know, our heart, what we, what we say, what we think. You know, <clears throat> judging others. You know, not doing... The things that God would want us to do, you know, being being out of um, being out of, of the Word of God, you know, we we just got to be honest with ourselves and then work with God. You know, He'll convict us and He'll He'll lead us to to grow. You know, to become more Christ-like. So it's about that and encouraging the body of Christ because there's there's just too many false false prophets people giving a false message and it's very very sad to hear um because it, it's a self-righteousness that they, they actually believe that they're better than than um other people because they're doing some sort of superior works that other people aren't doing but it's um uh, it's a choice you know not everyone walks in the spirit some people remain carnal but we can't force them to um to become a disciple by adding works to the you know to the salvi salvation message you know of of, <clears throat> of we saved by grace alone through through the work of the Lord Jesus Christ. So um we can't force that upon people but we can encourage and and you know encourage them to read the word of God which will do its work you know it will do the convicting it will do the refreshing and it will it will build you know build uh, build a person and build build up the body of Christ so thanks very much for listening <coughs>